Okay, now that I have to record this video for the second time, because apparently the photos app or camera app on iPhone, at least on my phone, whenever I talk, it sounds like it's horrendously windy, which it is not. I'm in an enclosed building. I guess the door's open, but there's no wind in here. It should not be sounding like I'm in the middle of a hurricane. So I've had to download a separate app now. But anyways, this is my sensation commercial. Original condition, got it for free. Um, off the side of the road. Um, I did have to clean it up. Did not run when I got it. Um, what I did to get it to run was, well, at first, pulled this to see if it was free. It would turn over. And it, um, it did not turn over, which kind of, I don't want to say frightened me, but I did not like that. So... You know, I thought I might have gotten a blown up engine. So, after some digging around, this spring or something had been improperly installed. I just have it off now. But the engine brake was stuck on. And I I don't know why. I don't know if someone was messing with it or something. I'm thinking somebody did. They didn't know what they were doing. Put the spring on wrong and it just tightened up and wouldn't let the engine spin. So I just took it off. I just have the engine brake just kind of floating there. It's not doing anything. Just have the zip tied here so I don't lose it. Um, It was pretty dirty when I got it. Tons of grime, dust, grass, oil. On the wheels especially, they were pretty dirty, but I spent a lot of time cleaning them up. Wire wheel, WD-40. Um, took all the wheels off, just cleaned out, like, back in there. There's a bunch of, I don't know how you focus on that. There's just a bunch of crud in there. I uh, greased up the bearings. And it had cardboard, just horrendously duct taped here. Where the chute or the bagger attaches. Now, a bag for this is super expensive if you can even find one. Pretty sure they make um like replica ones Re like they make bags still that you can get to work but they're like six hundred dollars which is absolutely insane so i just mulch with it it works fine i just cut this piece of plywood and painted it orange kind of barely <laughs> just to make it match and look better. I just have it mounted onto this piece of steel with a excessively long carriage bolt. And in the classic Briggs and Stratton fashion, the oil dipstick tube O-ring had like jumped up, so it was spewing oil all over. You can still see it's a little bit greasy, but a lot better than it was and I know a little bit of history about sensation and one of the cool things is the cast aluminum decks as far as I know no other like major company or reputable company um, manufactured these with cast aluminum decks, at least in the 80s when this one was built. Now, I'm pretty sure the company was started by a guy after World War II. It was late 40s, early 50s, something like that. And they always had the cast iron deck and the classic Briggs engine. Now, not this classic Briggs, Briggs engine. And I still think this is factory correct, though, because... I know this is a late 80s one, which, or, or sometime mid to late 80s, right before Sensation got bought out. And I've seen pictures of these restored, 
and I think unrestored too with this same engine on it. So I'm pretty sure towards the end of these productions, they switched to this engine. So I think that's correct. Um, another thing I did to clean it up was with the handlebars, they were all just dirty and crusty and rusty. And what I did was I just took WD-40 to it and some fine steel wool. Just rubbed all the dirt and crud off of it. Now it's got a really nice patina finish. I, re I really like it. I think it looks great. It's just American. It's strong. It's sturdy. We don't have things like this anymore. We can't have nice things anymore. It's just well built. I mean, it was made for commercial use. That's why it's called Sensation Commercial. And um, another thing I had to do when I got this was after I had started it up, I heard quite a loud clang, if you would. And then just the blade, you could hear just spinning around. So the blade... This part up here mounts to the engine. Then the blade sits in here. The blade has two um, holes in it that sit right in here to keep it, you know, with this. So it's not just spinning around like it was when it was broken. So what had happened was, I'm guessing that somebody was here before me, before we put it to the curb. And... He didn't put the blade back on all the way. It got going, freed up, and the blade was just spinning around while this wasn't spinning, and it broke off these on this hub here. This is a different piece, um, but same idea. So what I did to fix that was, because I have no idea if you can get this hub. You can get one that would work, but why, why would I do that? when all I could do is just take drill, drill up through it, tap the hub, and then bolt the blade to this along with that center. So the blade cannot move. It's like, it's on there. It's moving with the hub now. It's the way it should be. It's good. So, you know, not a professional fix, but it's a fix and it's solid. It's held up. And, um, you know, while I was doing that, I just cleaned up the deck, you know, it's definitely cast aluminum. So that's pretty neat. I just love the design of these. They're just so cool. I love the patina on this. It's, it's just so nice. The wear marks and the aluminum. Solid. And no, like, welds or repairs, no holes in this, nothing. It's solid. Which is pretty cool. Um, one wheel is not original though. And I'm assuming it's this one. Because it's awfully clean on the inside. And you notice how it's kind of flat in there. We got this one. Which as you can see is rounded there. And is also in a rougher shape. Which leaves me to believe this is the original. This is a replacement. But it works well. Um. Like, I noticed that when I was cleaning them up. But, yeah, it's pretty much this mower. And, let me set it down. One um, thing that's pretty neat about Sensation mowers is you'll notice the handlebars on mine are attached with this, this kind of plate that was bolted up there. But, on a lot of them, especially the earlier ones, they were mid-mounted. There's a couple bumps there for casting marks, but it's a lot easier to see over here. You see a uh, bump there, bump there, and a bump there. You can focus on the deck there, there, and there. That was because the handlebars were mounted in the middle. And I think that's kind of cool. And I'm pretty sure on some of them, or I know on some of them, they were like rotating like you could flip the handlebars from this side 
swing them over to the other side. So when you're done pushing one way, you reach the end, you just flip the handlebars and just walk straight again instead of you know, having to pick it up and move it or something. I don't know. I just think it's kind of cool. But um, I, I like it a lot, but if you're interested in it, then make me an offer. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want for it, so I mean, just make an offer. I'm not quite sure I want to sell it unless, you know, it's a good enough price. But it's the oldest thing, I, um, oldest mower that I have, which kind of makes me like it. Because I like old things. Because they're, they're just so well built. Like this is mostly original. Here, what is that like? Mm, I don't know, 35 years later at least. I'm over that. 35, 40 plus years. I think, right? I don't know, I can't do math. Point is, it's well built. No welds or repairs like... Some of the others I've seen. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, then just let me know.